Hi, guys. Yeah, this all started around noon today. That 24-year-old suspect and defendant, Mariko Ellis, running straight out the front doors here at Hartford Superior Court. And then he bolted down the sidewalk walk here, heading on foot towards Park Street. At this late hour, the search to find him continues. Judicial marshals immediately called State Police Troop H to assist, and they launched a large-scale search, bringing in resources like canine police dogs and even drones. Mariko Ellis was last seen wearing a black shirt, black pants, and no shoes. We're told he lost his shoes as he ran out. We looked up Mr. Ellis's record with Judicial, and he had three separate court cases scheduled on the docket today here in Hartford. One for illegal gun possession and violation of probation, a second case for the possession and sale of narcotics, and a third case with charges ranging from illegal gun and drug charges to assault. Now, here's what we've been told by the state judicial branch. This all happened because Mr. Ellis's court case was not going well. I'm told the judge, Judge Doyle, was about to raise Ellis's bond. That's when Ellis took off, jumping over several of the courtroom benches. Now, because of all of this, the judge ordered his rearrest and set a new bond in the amount of nearly $2 million. The search to find him continues with the help, of course, of the state police and the Hartford Police Department. We're live here outside Hartford Superior Court on Lafayette Street. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.